folks, welcome to Outrageous ATV Builds. I do not know why this tape stuck to that paint so bad. That paint had cured for a week. It should have been fine, but obviously it wasn't. Maybe there's something about chrome paint uh, that is different than regular paint. I've never had a problem with this tape uh, pulling the, the paint up. It didn't pull all the paint up, but it just pulled the surface of the paint up. So, I don't know. Uh, if anybody has any ideas why it would have done that, uh, please let me know. But anyway, we're not going to let this stop us. Um, and that's what the, this is the reason that I'm getting on video here. Uh, when you do stuff like this, uh, you're going to have accidents, mistakes, call it whatever you want. Uh, call it a learning process. That's what it really is. And things are going to happen. Uh, it's not going to stop us. Now, my ideal for this paint job was I wanted to do a uh, flame paint job. And we're still going to do one, but we're going to do it in a different process. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, that chrome paint did what it did. But I'm going to see if I can work around it. And we're going to make up some uh, templates of the type of flame that I would like to use. And then we're going to see if we can just lay a thin piece of cardboard on there and then spray around it. Or maybe I'll cut the flames out of the cardboard and then spray in the middle of it. And, and do like a ghost type of a flame job on it. And I don't really care if it's a little bit rustic. So in other words, I'm saying it doesn't have to be perfect because nothing about this whole project is going to be perfect. If you start working for... Uh, if you start building things for it to be perfect, uh, <laughs> you can get in trouble real fast is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, just bear with me. Uh, we're going to have something here in a little bit, and I think it's still going to turn out fine. And anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and welcome to the channel. Okay, so here's where we start over. <laughs> and believe it or not, now I've run out of lacquer thinner, but believe it or not, the chrome paint is what you're seeing. It will not come off of there even with lacquer thinner. But remember, there's a, there's a layer of black under the chrome and then there's the primer. So it's back down to the chrome paint. But for some reason, the tape damaged the chrome by putting tape on it. So I, And it wasn't the glue from the tape. I, it actually, the back side of the tape had silver on it. It pulled the top of the silver off and damaged it. So, but yet lacquer thinner won't take the chrome off of there. So, anyway, live and learn. And we start over. So, that's like... I guess three days down the drain. 
see y'all later.